Guys, how they were welcomed home was with an absolute barrage of people. The entire terminal was filmed from end to end. It was really a sight to see. Take a look here for yourself. It was a quick trip to DC and back for these vets, but in one day, they packed in visits to memorials for World War II, Vietnam, Korea, and each branch of the military, in addition to Arlington Cemetery. For the vets, it was completely free. The Inland Northwest Honor Flight Charity pays for this trip with donations. Now, there's a long waiting list to get on this flight, so the vets who made the trip felt extra lucky. And they felt even luckier when they arrived home to hundreds upon hundreds of thankful people. For many, like Marsha McLean, who served in Okinawa for the Women's Army Corps, it was a bigger celebration than they ever got before. It was uh, the welcome that we never received when we came home, and uh, it was, it was fantastic. speechless. Uh, was there anybody left at home in Spokane? Now you can see Marsha there with her brother Robert. They were both able to make this trip and they both felt very lucky to be able to do so. Robert, who was in the Navy, says his favorite part was the Navy Memorial on Pennsylvania Avenue. And as you mentioned, vets from every branch who served in nearly every war of the last century were there today as well. Also there, a marching band, members of ROTC, and soldiers who didn't make the trip, including some active duty members and some veterans of Vietnam who fought for South Vietnam alongside Americans. Now, guys, this was my first time at an honor flight, and I was, I was just blown away. Like Marcia said, was there anyone in Spokane who wasn't there tonight? Really incredible.